On April 1st, 2020, Mojang released a snapshot called 20W14 Infinity, now known as Minecraft Infinite. This April Fool's joke played by Mojang added over 2,147,483,648 different dimensions into the snapshot. Many, if not most of the dimensions are just a hodgepodge of random blocks, or they're full of dangerous creatures, or some of them are just a straight reskin of the regular Minecraft game. And, not to mention that some of these dimensions have the ability to just lag out your game completely. Even with all these issues, I have been inspired to create a brand new Minecraft speedrun. And trust me, it's rough. To get the speedrun started, you're going to need to select the infinite snapshot from your Minecraft launcher. Now let's boot this baddie up. Single player, create new world, put that bitch creative, and boom, create new world. Let's go. Once you open up your world, you're going to need to grab three things from your creative inventory. One, obsidian. Two, flint and steel and three a book and quill so now you're going to create a nether portal and light it with your flint and steel kachiga after you're going to open your book and quill and type in the word library lowercase like the l lowercase after you're done throw it straight into the portal and bam new color change your game mode to survival get rid of the items and walk in and bam massive library and once you enter the library your time starts Whoa, let's take a pause there, partner. You're probably wondering what the rules are for this speedrun. There's only one rule to this speedrun, and it's that you're not able to use any items found in the overworld, the nether, or the end. Every item must come from the dimensions found in this snapshot, be it blocks, food, and even water. And the last final note is, the speedrun ends when you beat the game. Now we can get this speedrun started in 3, 2... What? Caution. Caution. Just a heads up before we get too deep in the video, before I attempted the speedrun, I did not use or look up any speedrunning tactics, nor do I have any experience speedrunning the game. What you're about to see is some of the worst Minecraft play that I've ever seen and that I've ever attempted to do. I hope you enjoy. Alright, let's get the speedrun started. And... Let's go! Alrighty, plan of action. First, I'm gonna get wood for crafting, then some food. I get hungry. Get some upgraded tools, armor, and of course the hardest thing of all, blaze rod. After that, I'll get some ender pearls, make ender eyes, and we're gonna head to the dragon where we will defeat it. Woo! To kick off the run, I grabbed a couple books and I headed towards the portal. The first place I visited was a hotter end that was filled with lava lakes. Uh. Next, I hung out on a normal end ship. Huh. Then I visited a really hard to look at dimension that was filled with end gates and a bunch of friendly withers. And a dirt kingdom. And a world filled with dangerous mobs. And another end, but this one had endermans. Until finally, I found wood. We're looking for tools. We're looking for. Perfect. Crafting table complete. Voila! Wood is found. This speedrun is a piece of cake. Uh, what is it? My journey continues as I look for cobblestone to craft upgraded oh, weapons until suddenly I'm... dead. <gasps> no! Oh no! No! No, it's too soon. I go back, I get my stuff, and I continue forward. In this world, I so dig for stone, and instead I find wool. Huh? In this very loud dimension, it is filled with starter chests. Here I find food and upgraded tools. And I'm attacked! Ah! 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 But I grab a bunch of starter chests and materials. In the next dimension, I'd probably die in the stupidest way ever. Yes, I die because I thought you could walk on banners. Kinda dumb. Kinda dumb. I head back to the last world and I restock on supplies. After this, I just visit a series of different dimensions. 
in retrospect, I wasted a ton of time for me to only visit dimensions where the most interesting thing was that I can walk on trap doors or that it happens to be another reskinned of the end for the umpteenth time. And because of this, we're just going to go through the highlights to the next major event. Emeralds? Leave me alone, I won't take a picture with you. I'm not going to take a picture with you. Whoa. Another right. Three is I'm on a fucking pumpkin. Colors. Wow. Holy crap, 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 holy crap. Holy crap, 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 holy crap. To the forest, to the forest, to the forest, it's only safe spot. Fences for sale! Great deal on fences. Come get your fences. Okay, okay. That's the last of it for now. So let's go make some progress. So good to see you, Iron. Diamonds? Under the ground? What? 22. And there's Blake. In this dimension, I find iron, diamond, and blazes. I'm so close to beating the game, I can feel it. At this point, I'm making great progress on finishing the speedrun at record time. I still need some stone to smelt some iron. So I go on. Stone. Remember when I said that there were dimensions that will lag your game? That some of these dimensions have the ability to just lag out your game completely. Well, here we are. After minutes of waiting, I was able to exit the world and log back in. And when I did that, I found out I was able to move. So after doing that a few more times and taking a couple more minutes off the clock, I was finally able to escape. Oh, I fucking... I visit a few more unhelpful dimensions like this. And that. And, wait, no, not this one. I got lots of bread from this one. This one was a good one. In this Mesa dimension, I thought it was a great idea to try and dig and find some stone. Let's just say it didn't work out. Why? Oh my. I died again. Let me out! Let me out! And again. As I was coming back from the overworld, this little buddy decided to follow me and fight me. Shit, not in the library. And unfortunately, I lost. Shit. After my duel, I continued on my journey through the dimensions in search of stone. Like this one, where I have the ability to become Minecraft Jesus. He may walk on water, but I stand on air. With that cool demonstration of magic out the way, I visit a few more spots until I find this odd little world. I go for a quick dive and I find on the shore more starter chests. I gather more supplies and I climb to the top and I find... Iron blocks! I mine it up. We just become the luckiest I leave this world and I head back to the library dimension. And in the library I make... Armor! We can finally check armor off our list. And with that complete, <laughs> we can finally go get some blaze rods. Let's go! What the hell? How do I get hit? How the f gathering my supplies from when I died? Now I gotta get some diamonds. Dun dun dun. dun. Gonna make up chest plate. It's gonna be real cool. Next, I took out some more blazes. Until some more blazes took out me. Oh. After another death, I knew I needed more protection. So I decided to work on my most drippy fit. <gasps> 
And of course I died. Goodbye world. I did get back and get that final blaze rod. With six blaze rods that should be enough to get me to the end. From here I went to one of the many reskins of the end dimension where I built a little structure to gather pearls. And with a one, a two, a three, I got all the ender pearls I needed and convert them into ender eyes. And now it's time to head to the dragon. Or so I thought, because apparently it seemed that the portals were still linked together from my previous visits. I returned to the Mesa biome again. I was thinking up to this point that maybe it wasn't the best idea to do a speedrun. So and after that, that, I knew it was a bad idea. Though the portal was lost, I did find some things that I originally left here when I died multiple times. My first idea was to get gravel, but after that failed, I knew there was only one way to leave. Through death. I put everything in a chest, and I yeah. fought a skeleton for my last oh. breath. But as soon as I did, I returned fairly quickly, got my stuff, and I left. Before I left to go on my treacherous journey, I thought it would be appropriate to grab some extra blocks. I did what every illiterate person dreams of doing. I destroyed a library. Two hours in and I finally left the library dimension on my way to the end portal. Damn. First one. I almost think about my journey to the end portal, sort of like the montage from Shrek 1 when they're going to the castle to save Fiona. I'm on my way to Denethidisoya. I'm on my way to get the end portal. I'm on my way. I'm on my way to Zoya. And after long travel, finally, I made it. Hell yeah. I think I've had some of the worst luck of all time in the speedrun, and if you don't believe me, check this out. Leave me alone. Leave, leave, leave. Go. Shoo. Shoo. Go. Leave me alone. What the fuck? The fact that that attack precedes the even bigger folly of the portal only having one ender eye. Like, what are the chances? What are the chances? Like, for real, really? Like, like mathematically, like, I really don't. So I mark the entrance and I head back. So you may notice that I'm having to speed up the film. I'm gonna keep it a buck fifty with you. I got lost on the way back home for a really long amount of time. Like, an embarrassing long amount of time. So, yeah. At a certain point, I realize I'm never going to find my portal, so I decide to pack everything up in a little chest and go drowned. Yep. And with that out of the way, and the coordinates written down, I go back and get my stuff with the portal's location, and I head back home. I head back to the dimension with the blazes, and I fight. Bam! 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 Let's go! After I get my blaze rods, I head to the fake end dimension to get some ender pearls. The swing here, and there, and over here. Four more ender eyes. Oh, what are the chances? With the ender eyes acquired, I head out. I run back to the stronghold. I throw in my ender eyes, get the portal started. I make a quick bed on the side, you know, just in case I die. Lord knows I've already done enough of it. And let's get started. Dragon, 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 dragon. I tower like nobody's business because I'm good at towering and not because I didn't get a bow and arrows. And just like I normally do, I die again. Ah! I climb back, grab my stuff, get the stuff on the ground, and I start moving on to the next tower. And he knocks me off. And another one bites the dust. Let's put a pause right here. I need you guys to understand something. I was trying to do a cool trick, which, again, credit to me. I had never done it before, but, you know, I thought it was a cool idea. You know, I thought maybe I can use the boat glitch trick to try to maneuver over to the next tower. And, um, well, take a look right here.
all right, all right, I get it, it's bad, but, like, chill with the laughing, all right? It's not that funny. I go to another tower and I destroy their end crystal, and at this point I'm starting to realize I don't have the blocks to continue doing this. So I gather the blocks I've been using, and right on time I die again. What are the chances, right? And again, you are a Now I have a new strat, but I run into an issue of me running out of blocks, so I do what I can to move up the tower. And unfortunately it ends like this. Hello darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you. With that death, I have to head back to my portal. First thing I do is destroy my bed. This way I can get back to the portal quicker. Next I head back to that dimension where they had all the starter chests and all the iron blocks and I grab a couple starter chests and from there I move and start gathering iron blocks. Doing all this I hope to regather all my supplies that I lost. But before I leave I make sure to grab some string for a bow and arrow. Next I head to a random dimension with a bunch of mobs. This way I can get arrows because I don't know any other way to get arrows besides doing this. What you got skeleton? Ooh, yeah, uh huh. Ooh, yeah, you like that? Mm. What you got? Le hey, leave me alone. Hey, 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 chill, chill. This type of behavior continues on and on until finally I get enough arrows to leave. With all the new arrows gathered, I finally go ahead and build myself a brand new stinking bow. Cha ching That seems good. Did you guys see that? Or did you miss it? Let's rewind that. Let's rewind that. That seems good. You're still not seeing it, huh? Well, let me tell you. Before entering the portal, of course, I forgot to set my spawn. Just remember that as we head to the end. Now with my new bow and arrow, I can go snipe for snipe. Well, bam Gone. Ooh, shooter's gonna shoot! Nice. Another one bites dust. Easy. Far away, and he's got it. Money. With all the towers gone, I wait for the dragon. I'm up underneath that dragon. I'm beating it up. You can't handle the heat. Maybe he can handle it. <laughs> no! Like I told you guys, take note of it. I wasted so much extra time not setting my spawn. But when I got back around, I made sure to set it before heading back in. For the umpteenth time, I gather my things after another death. But I'm here to slay a dragon. How to train your dragon? How to slay a drag... Dragon? I make one final push to end this all. I attack with my iron sword. Again and again. Come on. Tragedy happens and my sword breaks. It's time for the wood axe. And welcome to a moment in history. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Come on, come on. <laughs> now, if you enjoyed that run and you thought it was entertaining, even slightest, be sure to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later. Deuces.